What's happening, y'all? This is Tucson High Key Stewart, your favorite wellness practitioner with Town Wellness, where we get you the right plant-based food, the consistent fitness, so you can experience freedom in your daily life. Today, we are in the kitchen, and we are creating a green juice. Green juicing uh, has become extremely popular. Um, and this is actually one of my practices that I do every morning, right, to start my day off, right? Um, extremely important. The most important thing about a green juice is the color green, which is chlorophyll. Anything green you see on a plant has chlorophyll in it. Chlorophyll is what they call liquid sunshine. Chlorophyll is the closest has the closest molecular structure to your blood hemoglobin on the earth, right? So when you create a green juice and you drink that green juice, you're literally giving yourself a blood transfusion. And chlorophyll automatically begins to regulate your blood sugar, right? And begins to detoxify you. Chlorophyll naturally pulls out heavy metals and naturally begins to detoxify your blood supporting the liver to do that, right? Our liver naturally detoxifies our blood, but chlorophyll comes in and helps detoxify the liver while it's detoxifying our blood, so that detoxification process happens more efficiently and more effectively. So greens are actually the greatest ally to our own homeostasis, right? Our homeostasis is how our body maintains a delicate balance to eliminate, to detoxify, so we can continue to breathe, walk, and exist in life, right? Our homeostasis is extremely important. Greens are the most efficient thing um, on the planet to help do that and to support that homeostasis, right? So particularly for people who are pre-diabetic and people who are dealing with type 2 diabetes, um, Green juicing is extremely important, right? One of the benefits of green juicing is that uh, it requires almost no digestion, right? You have no fiber you have to break down, right? All you're doing is basically getting this, you're getting the liquid, the blood of the plant, right? And it goes directly through your digestive system, directly to your blood, right? And so uh, it's, it's, it's extremely efficient in, in joining with your blood uh, without having to go through all the digestive stuff that you do if you actually are eating a salad, right, or actually um, eating raw whole vegetables, right? Now, that doesn't mean that raw whole vegetables aren't good for you, but you actually absorb more nutrients when you juice. Uh, there's a strategy for why we do green juicing, right? And particularly to keep our blood sugar stable, right? And we want to make sure that we're preventing these lifestyle diseases from, uh, you know, taking us out, right? So let's go see. Let's check out our ingredients. We got kale, right? Kale is extremely, extremely bitter. One of the best greens on the planet. Um, there's various a variety of kale. This is just the curly kale natural curly kale here, and we can also juice the stems as well, right? A lot of minerals and vitamins in this, vitamin K, vitamin A, vitamin C, a lot of calcium is in kale, right? Extremely a lot of calcium, right? Um, we also have parsley, right? Parsley is known to be a heavy metal detoxifier, right? It helps support the liver to get those heavy metals out of your body. No matter how vegan or vegetarian you are, we still breathe in this air, which has a lot of carbon monoxide and heavy metals from cars, right? So we gotta understand, parsley is not just something that's gonna make your breath smell good, right? Something that's on the side of a plate and then bring out a dish. No, parsley is a heavy metal detoxifier, so you wanna always have this to juice with. Cilantro, right? We use cilantro for a lot of things like salsa, um, we put it in our guacamole, Cilantro is also a heavy metal detoxifier, right? Um, so we want to make sure we have parsley and cilantro at all times, right? Um, we also have green apples. Green apples is one of the fruits that you want to use when you juice, 
right? When you do green juicing because it also helps uh, the flavor, right? These are extremely bitter. Bitter is not necessarily that tasty, but we know it's good for you um, because with the bitter comes the mess, right? Apples are not that sweet. Green apples are kind of tart um, and they're very astringent, right? So they're not gonna spike your blood sugar level that much. Green things like green grapes and maybe a uh, uh, honeydew melon, you never wanna juice those, right? These have a lot of water in them, but they also have a lot of sugar, right? So that dietary fiber in the melon and that dietary fiber in the grapes are what you wanna, you wanna eat that, right? Or put that in a smoothie. You never wanna juice it because it'll spike your blood sugar and it'll go against what you're trying to do when you're juicing. So, we want to only use fruits like, like apple. Another fruit, or like green apple, another fruit we can use as well are the limes. I peeled these limes right here, cut off the peels. And so, limes are extremely powerful in that they help create an alkaline environment in your digestive tract, right? So, Lime water in the morning is actually really good to start the elimination process, right? And this is also the time, after you have your first elimination in the morning, this is when you want to actually do your green juicing because you'll have maximum absorption and there will not be anything in the way uh, in your elimination pathways to stop you from absorbing this juice, right? So you always want to start your juice in the morning after your first elimination. We also have cucumbers. Cucumbers are 95% water. They're very hydrating, right? Very good for your skin. Um, and also have a nice uh, green on the, on the skin as well. We're gonna be uh, juicing these and a lot of chlorophyll in these too. Um, celery, which is a really magical vegetable right here. Um, some people even call celery a, a long herb, right? But celery is, creates a lot of bile um, in um, the digestive system, so that way you get maximum absorption of the minerals, right? A lot of times we get in all these fruits and vegetables, but if our, we don't have enough bile to break it down so we can absorb and get these minerals and vitamins where they need to go, then it's just gonna go, we'll go in one end and out the other, right? So celery is extremely good for that. Um, celery is also good for male vitality as well. Um, it has a lot of chlorophyll in it, so we want to definitely protect our digestive system um, with celery. Um, we also are going to add to our green juice ginger. Ginger is one of the most anti-inflammatory uh, roots on the planet, right? Ginger is amazing. It also is an is a anti-diabetic food, right? It uh, lowers your blood sugar, um, it cures nausea, um, it helps women with their menstruation cycles. Ginger is amazing. It cools your blood. Um, if you're pre-diabetic or type 2 diabetic, you definitely want to keep ginger in your system every day, particularly in the morning, right? One of the reasons why we're doing our juicing and we want this juice to happen in the morning is because the body is completing its digestive cycle in the morning. Right, so uh, when you wake up, before you start to eat your food, you wanna just drink water. Drink lime water, lemon water, you maybe put a little bit of uh, uh, unpasteurized apple cider vinegar in some water, drink that. Have your first elimination, and then your body is ready to fully absorb the chlorophyll uh, of the green juice, right? And, and all of the minerals and vitamins that come with it. Right? So we want to make sure this becomes a practice for us so we can prevent type 2, di type two diabetes. We can um, support uh, people who have type 2 diabetes, right? If you have it, please make this a practice for yourself, right? Um, and we also just continue that vitality in the morning. You get so much energy when you juice. It will also take away all of this um, you know, all of your, uh, uh, you know, your hunger, right? If you're really, 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 really hungry, your body is asking for nutrients, right? 
So many nutrients are coming from this green juice. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Um, I have a, a, a cold fresh juicer here that I got on Amazon for about 100 bucks. It's called a Home Ever, and it does the trick for me every morning. So we're going to go ahead and get started. Here we go. Let's go ahead and start with the celery. You want to make sure you, uh, the celery is pretty easy to put in. It's not going to get stuck or anything. It's just got a natural width to it. So we'll just go ahead and make sure we use our stuffer and get it in there. Okay. What we're doing is we're going to be making juice uh, for three days, right? Why three days? Well, one thing with juicing is you don't want to continue to go back to the juicer every single day, right? You want to be able to make enough for three days because juice can stand for three days in the refrigerator, you know, but after a while, you know, uh, and, but that's it. You don't want it. You don't want it to go longer than three days in the refrigerator. This way, you can you can have your juice ready to go in the morning. After your first elimination, you're ready. You're ready to get that chlorophyll in your system. You're ready to detoxify your blood, all that good stuff, right? Without having to always clean your juicer every single time. Do it for once every three days, right? That makes it more efficient and effective. And yeah, you have it on deck all the time, right? When we make this a practice, right? Anytime you develop some type of a lifestyle disease, it takes lifestyle practices for this disease to be undone. Juicing is one of the greatest practices that you can have, right? And it's a life restoring practice, particularly green juice. Right? Um, there's a rule of thumb. When you're juicing, you only want to juice uh, about, say, 20% fruit and 80% grains and vegetables. Okay? Um, fruit is really meant to be eaten with the fiber. Okay? Um, and so if you keep that rule of thumb, then you will transform your wellness. Now we got the cap, we got this, the uh, cucumber coming in, easy peasy, right? One thing about cucumbers is that they're 95% water, but the water in the in the cucumbers, just like in any other vegetable coming from the coming from the earth, is distilled, right? So it's full of minerals and vitamins, right, and electrolytes, right, which are minerals. Like potassium, you know, all of these, you know, all of these wonderful minerals. And so what you do is, is you're actually, we're actually uh, getting a purified water, right, that comes with minerals, you know, vitamins, and all of these good things for us, right? So it's important that, you know, a lot of us like to drink a lot of water throughout the day, but you also want to make sure you're either eating your water or getting good juice. Right, which is probably, this juice right here is probably about 80% 80, 80 water right here, right? Um, because this, this, this water has chlorophyll in it, right? So you want to just, uh, you want to make sure you are getting enough fruits and veggies in your system as well as that six, as well as 64 ounces of water throughout the day, right? Um, and if you can't get that much water throughout the day, at least you got a lot of it through your juice. Okay? So we're doing good. We got our cucumbers in there. Now right now, this is probably a couple of big cucumbers. I like to cut them into quarters, and then I'll slice the quarters into nice wedges like this. Um, pretty simple. Okay. I see cucumbers have a lot of water. Very hydrating. Really awesome. See, we got our pitcher here. We're going to be pouring it in. Okay, pretty soon. Alright. So, making this a practice is extremely important. 
this juicer here was only about a hundred dollars, right? Some of my high school students who come to school with Arizona iced teas, you know, hot chips and all of this stuff, and also two hundred dollar Jordans, you know, when some of them could invest in a juicer. Now I bring my juicer to the classroom, so. The kids see the benefit, not only the benefit of the juice, right, uh, but they also see my juice and they're like, they think it costs like thousands of dollars. I'm like, no, this is just $100. And then I'll look at them, I'm like, how much is your shoes? $179. Oh, you could have got you a juicer too, you know? So we got to begin to reprioritize what we buy, right? And we got to take accountability for our wellness, right? We can get one of these juices. We can invest in one of these juicers so we can develop more practices for our wellness. All right, last piece of ginger I'm gonna put in. All right, that's in there. Now, we're gonna go ahead and put our limes in, okay? Here we go. Like I said, lime is extremely important. It helps alkalinize the digestive tract. Um, like I said, one thing about lime that you can do is you can, you can squeeze a half of a lime in 16 ounces of water in the morning and you supercharge your water, right? And you also protect your digestive system by creating an alkaline environment. Disease cannot exist in an alkaline environment, right? And we want to support our blood. Our blood pH is alkaline. Our blood's pH is 7.35 to 7.38, right? And so anything that's going to help support that alkalinity, you want to make sure you're doing it. Right? Lime helps that and lemon as well. Okay? That will help you get that first elimination. Then you want to follow that up with your green juice. Now we're going to start with the kale. We're going to use the stalk or the, the stem and everything. Right? So let's go ahead and get that in there. Get that in there. Okay? Now one thing about, about uh, kale is really important is that it's, it's very bitter. Right? But it has, it's, a, it's one of these leafy greens that have a high concentration of chlorophyll, right? Leafy greens are different than greens like uh, iceberg lettuce or even spinach. Spinach is a leafy green, but it's, you know, it's on the lower totem pole of the leafy greens. But kale, uh, bok choy, seaweed, these are the true leafy greens that have life restoring properties, right? And high concentrations of chlorophyll, okay? Right. First pour. Alright, so this is not the whole thing, but this is part of it. Okay, so you see that color in there. We're going to go ahead and pour all of this in the pitcher. Okay, and by the time we're done, we should have a full pitcher. Okay, so so far, what we got in there? We got the cucumbers in there, we got the ginger in there, we got the limes in there. Um, we got some kale in there as well. So we're going to continue to keep juicing away. All right. Uh, we'll go ahead and start with our apples now. Okay. Good. All right. Excellent. Apples are extremely good for your digestive system as well. Right. Very detoxifying fruit, very good for your liver as well. This is one of the reasons why we do green juicing and use green apples is because they're excellent for your liver, right? Good. And they help with the flavor as well, right? We don't want this experience to be so bad tasting, right? Not that bitter is completely bad. But it's not the sweetest thing in the world, right? So we add. 
add the apples, you know, if you want to use green, uh, red apples, you can use red apples too. I like green apples because they have more of an astringency. They're tart, right? They have uh, maybe a little more vitamin C. And uh, they're just very healing to the digestive system. And they're green, right? We're trying to keep our theme of green, right? Because we know green is the life restoring chlorophyll, right? And the more chlorophyll, the better, right? The more we restore our blood, the better. We know that diabetes is a blood disease, right? We know high blood pressure is a blood disease, right? We know people have strokes uh, because a lot of times their arteries are clogged, which causes blood disease, right? When your blood can't flow, oxygen cannot get to the rest of the body, and then all of a sudden, you have a stroke, right? So if you can do this practice in the morning, like I said, I'm going to keep repeating, after your first elimination, right, then you will get the maximum absorption, right, maximum absorption, okay? And when you can add things like ginger to your green juice, you know, you're getting the anti-inflammatory effects, right, the anti-nausea, right, you're uh, restoring your blood sugar, um, immediately lowers your blood sugar, right, ginger is powerful like that, so, and ultimately what we want to make this turn into is a tonic, right, back in the day when, you know, most of our folks was living off the land in the south, there was always a tonic man or a tonic woman, right? And they knew that the power of longevity was in the blood. And a lot of these tonics were bitter, right? Because we had to learn how to live off the land before industrialization. So a lot of our ancestors were in the fields learning about the herbs and a lot of our ancestors actually came over here um, on the Middle Passage as herbalists as people who knew what came out of the earth and what could heal you, right? And so a lot of this information was passed down, and there you have the tonic man of the tonic woman, right? People coming around with tonics to support your blood, right? Because we already knew that, you know, once our blood is taken care of, then we got maximum oxygen flowing through our body, then, then we're good. Our health is good, right? We're efficient. And we're alkaline, right? So we're going to go ahead and put a little bit more kale here, right? Sweet sounds of juicy. <laughs> All right. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some parsley in there, too. Here we go. This parchment looks so lovely. Alright. I tell you, when I found out about parsley, I said to myself, whenever I go to a restaurant, I will never look at parsley the same again. I said, I'm going to eat that parsley. I'm not going to just let it sit there like a decoration or like a breath or I'm going to ask it for more parsley. Right? A lot of times, you know, we look at greens as like, oh man, I gotta eat my greens. But see, when we flip our consciousness and realize greens, anything green is an opportunity. Right? Greens are an opportunity to get closer to supporting your homeostasis. Right? Greens, when you choose greens, you're making a decision of wellness, right? You're making a decision to support your blood, to support your five organ systems, right? Your five main organ systems, right? So greens are not just greens, they're an opportunity, right? They were put here for us to sustain life, right? To thrive, not just to survive. A lot of us are out here surviving on fast food, junk food, liquor store junk food, and also, what some people call soul food, we don't have to center our, 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 our diet around all of this fried 
uh, food with all of this butter and all of this this thickness of you know grease and stuff like that. We got to get back to living foods, right? We need to we need to flip the script on that because what you call soul food is something that's going to get you closer and closer to a lifestyle disease, right? And so, unfortunately, we're going to have to uh, flip the script and start changing these recipes and changing how we look at food, right? And so this is a part of that process. Once you get that juicer, you need to learn the science around juicing, right? Which is extremely important. And making a green drink every day, you fortify your health in so many different ways. Right? You fortify your reproductive system. Um, it helps you have uh, green juicing, helps you have healthy skin. Your skin glows, you got better energy. And it helps every single organ system in your body, particularly your liver. And so if we can decrease some of those practices and begin to use this practice, then we'll begin to fortify ourselves and then we'll begin to increase and fortify our own homeostasis. So I'm going to do one more pour. Here we go. Let's get that apple in there. All right. That's the apple. That's the parsley. Okay. Almost ready to drink. Here we go. Good. feel real good about doing this because this is Stockton. I love Stockton, you know. But one thing I noticed about Stockton is that it has these uh, places called DeVita, which are these dialysis centers. And when I see these dialysis centers, I have to, I have to pause and do a double take because sometimes I think I'm looking at a store or like part of the mall but this is actually where people go and get dialysis because they have uh, complications with high blood pressure and diabetes. So their kidneys aren't working anymore. And I said to myself, I said, if I see one more of these centers on the screen, it's like our health has gotten that bad that we have to have one of these centers almost on every corner. You know, I see them all over Stockton. And when I moved back here from the Bay Area, I couldn't believe it. And I said, man, I need to support my community because I love Stockton, but I want us to be around. I want us to be around, not just surviving, but I want us to be around here thriving, right? And if we're going to thrive, we need to juice, we need to make green juices. So, here, we got our kale, ginger, uh, cucumber, um, green apple, lime, juice, and parsley and cilantro as well. So this elixir was specifically created to support the liver, to support the liver, to support the blood, and to give you a maximum amount of chlorophyll to detoxify the heavy metals in your system that we breathe every day and to help your overall wellness, right? Now this is live juice. So what we're gonna do is take some sips right now. We're gonna talk about uh, our experience of the juice. Cheers. Cheers to wellness, to wellness, all right. Can I taste the green apple in there? Oh, yeah. There's something hot in there. Ginger. It's hot. Oh, yeah, ginger is a little bit hot. Yes, it's very bitter, but it, it can be very hot. Now, ginger is really important because it lowers the blood sugar um, and it helps stabilize the blood sugar as well. Yeah. It's a fresh taste. Huh? Fresh. Like fresh taste of Yeah. Okay. Cool. You're probably feeling that freshness from the cucumber. Yeah. The cucumber has 95% water. So you're really getting a lot of good distilled water from that cucumber. Anything else you guys taste? I taste the kale. Taste the kale? Okay. 
I like the, uh, your, can you taste the limes in there too? That's what it was. Yeah. yeah. Something that I really, yeah. really enjoy. I love lime. Yeah. Lime is extremely important to create an alkaline, uh, an alkalinity in your digestive tract. In the morning, I always encourage people to have lime water to start the day off because that's how you supercharge your water. And that's also how you begin to have your first elimination. Then you want to drink your green juice because there's nothing in your elimination pathways after that first elimination. After that first elimination, your digestive system has completed itself from the night before, okay. right? Okay. So then when you take in your green juice, it goes directly through your digestive system to your blood. This is a blood hack, right? So if you got issues with your blood, if you got issues um, with high blood pressure, with pre-diabetes, with type two diabetes, you want to get to your blood as much as possible. Um, so this is not necessarily better than a smoothie or anything, but it's more effective than a smoothie at, at getting past the digestive stuff to go directly to your blood, right? Smoothies are extremely important. That'll be the next episode. You want to do both. You want to make smoothies and juice, but juicy in the morning. Right in the morning because it's easy on the digestive system, and all you're doing is you're literally giving yourself a blood transfusion because chlorophyll is the closest molecule to your hemoglobin molecule. It's the closest. It's like literally almost a twin to your blood. So you're literally giving yourself a blood transfusion when you drink green juice. Right. The only difference between chlorophyll and hemoglobin, which helps get oxygen. Uh, around to your blood, I mean, around to the rest of your body, is that the hemoglobin molecule uh, is centered with iron. The uh, chlorophyll molecule is centered with magnesium, right? Um, but it's literally like you're drinking your own blood. So it's you're giving yourself a blood transfusion, right? The kale, I taste the kale. You taste the kale? Yeah. 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 And cool. you said what product, the actual ingredients? Ingredients, you have ginger. Uh, well, let me start with the greens first. Kale. Parsley, cilantro, wow. uh, cucumber, lime, and we have ginger, green apples, and uh, ginger, green apples, and yeah, I think that's it. Yep. Good. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Let's go, Dr. Lich. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sip it. <laughs>